Alright, hey there guys, well, guys, welcome back to the Tall Rumble, Little Rumble Joy here, and uh, this is a new session of uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, it's been a little while since I played this game last, last, and uh, so yeah, you might notice the mouse movement's a little bit, a little bit here, but it's actually fluid, it's because I'm actually using some, some software called uh, Controller Companion, because my, my, my mouse and keyboard are kind of shitty. I decided to use this instead, and uh, after a little bit of figuring out how it works, it actually works pretty well, so I'm gonna try using it like this. Anyway, I show my phone to next, Monica. So actually, I think I, like, uh, this what happens, like, to the front end says something about Monica. I don't know exactly what it means. You know, it means I don't really know. I'm just gonna go along with this and see what happens. So, let's see what Monica has to say. Hi again, John. How's the writing going? Uh, it's going good last time. I don't remember exactly what I wrote, but... <laughs> Let's find out what exactly what I did right. See what she thinks about it. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. So the only thing is some of the other girls were already saying it was a masterpiece, so that was really good, so. Huh. Interesting. You never know. Wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright, great job, John. I was going ooh in my head while I'm reading, while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. It did. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yeah, yes, I do. Writing is full of imagery and symbolism. Uh, yeah, I figured that one out. In fact, I still remember that. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, he likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm figuring out these characters. The only thing is, I don't know what I still don't know much of anything about Monica and what she likes. I know very little about it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. With a lot of people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances, it can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I really ask, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. You need to gain at least ten more levels in being a writer before you can be that good. You need to gain experience. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. <laughs> did we all learn this when we were five? I think we did. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, good. Just fuck your card gifts. No one, no, no one needs your, needs your stupid gift. But anyway. You able to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Let's see what it's like. Save me, the colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. I hate these RGB m mice and keyboards, they're, they're so pointless! That's probably not the point, this poem, but anyway. The noise, it won't stop, violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent, like playing chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. That was bizarre. And this poem of meaningless, load me. Save me, lo load me. Hmm. Might be some symbolism here, but you know what? I'm gonna let the game explain it. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. <laughs> Stop I'm jumping to conclusions. Ribbon Girl. That's who your name is now, Ribbon Girl, because you're the one that has a ribbon in her hair. <laughs> just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem, and it did. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. You sure about that? Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. You know what? I'll take that advice. We'll save again, because why not? Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so everyone can sit at the front of the room. 
It's about the, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, we really have to do something for the festival. Yes, you must make your delicious cupcakes. It's not like we can put anything together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a good serve of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the events. Yeah, it's basically just saying, do you like literature? Literature? If so, please join our club. That's that's all the pamphlet is. Okay, that's great and all. That doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the events. Well, you're going to be doing cupcakes, obviously. I'm oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Um, uh, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems, too. So you're already putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Someone's going to have a poem that's just full of sick burns towards the whole literature club. That's what I'm predicting here. Sayori's been calling a poster holds it up for us to see. You kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? <laughs> well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. That sounds like just what you would say if, you, if there is a way you're going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. But you could not animate it, though. Guys. No, no, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. Uh, yes. They're very shy. Or I thought Yuri was supposed to be the shy one. Natsuki doesn't seem that shy. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of, the fate of this club. And for the world! We start the event and each put on a good performance. Then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Or what poems are all about, since this is all about poems so far. No, actually, not much actual literature. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. Having fun! That's right. It's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? Been smiling to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Maybe. I know you do. I know we all do. If it all, if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. I don't think Yuri's gonna be fine, but I guess you can try. Atsuki and Yuri remain silent. So Yuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think it's Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Oh, well, maybe, but... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. She ran out of arguments long ago! Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? She just stays silent. Yuri objectively glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha, <laughs> to everyone, you're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. It'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, so let's move on to the main events. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N -n no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Well, I guess that logic sort of makes sense. 